Welcome to Morning Message for January the 14th. Way back in my late teens, uh, my dad had to go on a business trip to uh, Washington, D.C. And before he left, he asked me if there was anything I wanted uh, him to bring back. And I said, yes, the Washington Monument, um, thinking that that might be a little bit too big for a carry-on or something like that. Uh, but he did bring me back a Washington Monument. It was uh, maybe about two and a half, three inches tall. Uh, it was a replica of the Washington Monument and had a thermometer along the side of it. I remember one time it was sitting there on a table and Dad walked into the room. He picked it up and he looked at it very closely, kind of examining. And he finally said, yep, that's about right. And he put the Washington Monument back down. Um, only Dad can, uh, could have assumed that uh, his idea of what the ambient temperature was uh, would be more accurate than a mercury thermometer or whatever that thermometer happened to be. I thought of that story this week, I think, because of all of the news that's coming out of Washington, D.C. And, um, you know, the Capitol building is there. Uh, I've never been to Washington, D.C., but you have the Capitol building on one end of this uh, long area. And then I think it's the Washington Monument. And then there's the reflecting pool, the Lincoln uh, uh, reflecting pool. And then, of course, the uh, Lincoln Memorial itself. And off to one side is the uh, White, Health, White House. And perhaps uh, for people in, in my generation, and maybe all of us, I don't know, um, one of the most significant things that have taken place at the Lincoln Memorial is the speech that was given there by uh, Martin Luther King Jr., the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. That's where he gave his uh, famous uh, I Have a Dream speech in which he dared to dream uh, that one day people would be judged based on the content of their heart rather than the color of their skin or any other kind of foolish distinguishing thing that we might create, that it's the content of our hearts uh, that really matters. Uh, Martin Luther King is also perhaps most famous for the, uh, uh, after the uh, I Have a Dream speech, most famous for the quote, um, darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. Um, my hope, of course, is that that idea of uh, uh, the importance of um, love triumphing over uh, hate is uh, something that will take root once again um, in the United States and particularly in Washington and perhaps in all of the state capitals uh, over this um, over this next week as we prepare for the inauguration of uh, uh, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Um, and that there is a, a smooth transition of uh, power from, uh, from one administration to the next. Martin Luther King also said this, and this is the thing that I hope uh, prevails uh, over the next week. Now there is a final reason I think that Jesus says, love your enemies. It is this, that love has within it a redemptive power. And there is a power there that eventually transforms individuals. I've thought a lot about uh, Jesus telling his followers to love their enemies. Um, in one sense, it's impossible to love an enemy. But when you make that effort, uh, eventually they're transformed into being friends. But the transformation that takes place first is the transformation inside the person who's making that effort to love their enemies. 
we can't love enemies. We have to make them friends. And that's the process. And when we make that effort, when we take that initial step, the hope is that they will reciprocate, that they too will accept our friendship. Um, so that's what loving our enemies is all about. It's about transforming ourselves. It's about transforming others. It's about letting love be the defining factor. Uh, it's about letting love uh, be the content of the hearts of every individual. Um, that's my hope and prayer uh, <laughs> for all of us today. And my hope is that uh, you can listen to my message today, kind of like you're examining a thermometer and say, yeah, that's about right. <laughs>